Hello everybody, my name is Spamwolves and welcome back to episode 3 of The Park. Episode 1, we, well, we was at a car park for an, a, a theme park. Oh, jeez. <coughs> episode 1, we was at a car park where our kid Callum ran from the seat and ran into the park. We rode some really shitty rides. <laughs> Sorry, but they were crap. And in episode 2, we went and played with bumper cars and a Ferris wheel. And we picked up a ticket for the roller coaster. We're still looking for our child, but we're taking the time out to enjoy the finer points of this park. Oh yeah, here's that high wind again. Really loud for me, I hope. My voice is coming across it nicely. Right, we have a ticket. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Well, now you are. Perfect timing, right? Kid gone missing, have a roller coaster ticket. Now, if you're just tuning in, Hello. To go? We can shout that out. We have no flashlight. That's pretty dark. Here we go, everybody. Ups and downs achievement unlocked. Oh yeah, and that. What um, do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. I think just, I'm going crazy. Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Here we go. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Ah! Oh, flashing lights. Um. Oh, it's like the hospital on the way to give birth. I pitch up a little bit. I don't know, a roller coaster without screaming isn't so. Oh, I didn't get to read what that said. Oh, that could have been done. Oh. I'm gonna read that back in slow motion during editing. <laughs> oh, wow, beds just going everywhere. Not safe. Can you stand it? Oh. Have oh, we just killed our kids? Okay. That was quite cool. If only all roller coasters were like that. I like the bit where the beds just go splat, 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 splat. Beds just going everywhere. Not safe. Can we ride again? So the witch has Callum and has me. And. Oh, we're on the other side? Okay, we had to ride it to get through then. Um. He left a trail of breadcrumbs. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Uh, whatever. This could be the doorway to immortality, and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. Callum, where are you? So I'm thinking there's a a spooky. It's like a monster zing. I think they're feeding on the excitement of the children, perhaps powering something more insidious behind the scenes. I can help you, Callum. I can help you, Callum. Oh, we got the fine. witch awaits. Hope lights achievement. Uh, this isn't a game, Callum. Okay, well, how do I? You, I picked up a flashlight. Amazing. How do I use it? Callum, Callum. All right. Enough of the Callum, Callums. More flashy, flashy. Come back. Seriously. Oh, that's just annoying me. I've wanted a flashlight the entire game. I get one and I don't even use it. I'm literally pushing every key I can. Oh, and that's the wrong one, apparently. <laughs> Continue! Ouch, my face. Ouch. I, I, I don't. Someone has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. Probably. I asked him. Demanded really to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. No, no, no. Something has scared him into silence. Probably doesn't you. Dare talk. 
He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. Yeah, I think it's... I catch him staring at me at odd moments. Yep, because you're in the, the night, one. You're the crazy one. He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's the crazy one and the son wants to escape her. Oh, what was... Oh, gates is closed. No going back. Well, that park was fun. Our newspaper. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Killer Instinct Achievement. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse had yet to be identified. However, we have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsworth Academy. They noticed a pair of ravers, ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is, a tr it is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring youth happiness and joy. The staff, at the, uh, the staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of all the victims of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring the case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates to the story going forwards. There's some creepy sound effects. I mean, should we go look for the cotton candy store? Is that something? Is that a thing? I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I think. Don't let him take me. Don't let him take me. Okay. Anything secretive back here? Oh. I can't open doors. I have no ability to use my hands for anything other than um, walking like this. That's all they can seem to do. Teddy bear. Oh yeah, Callum ran into the park to look for his teddy bear. That was the whole reason he ran in, I think. Uh, what's... This isn't a game, Callum! I'm pretty sure it is a game. Oh, something's... Follow something's... The Follow the breadcrumbs. Is that breadcrumb? All these newspapers, are they breadcrumbs? <gasps> oh, this is where the body was. The cotton candy place. Um. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Of course, it's an adult. I saw something move. It, I can't jump, and this corpse is preventing me from examining Callum? that bin. Callum! Oh, jeez! First jump scare of the game. Uh, so that's Chad in the chipmunk suit. Oh, the game's kind of lagging out a bit. There's, I think there's definitely some performance bugs that need to be ironed out in this. I mean, it is only day one. I expect it to be patched the next couple of days. Um. I can help you, Callum. I can help you, Callum. Come back! Ooh. I'm glad we came back. There's something on this. The, Take your medicine. 
Oh, I've got a tattoo now. I never noticed that before. Hey, these are mine. I just found them. They're now mine. Oh. Your mother. No graffiti. Not safe. Fuck gravity. Beep. Um, don't believe anything they tell you. Fuck the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose, then. Oh. Oh. What are they doing? Am I tripping out now? Oh, that's a gurney, isn't it? Don't leave me here, Callum. Is that a baron of monkeys? Oh, can I? I'm gonna run through them. Yes, I totally knew that would happen. Oh, and then they all fall down. Yeah, we're tripping balls right now. We're going Don't back. Don't touch me. Oh, Callum? <laughs> All this fairground music is creeping me a little bit, I have to admit. Whoa, a box! Yes. It's a TV. It's okay. It's not. Oh. It disappeared. We're not being followed. We're not being followed. Everything is fine. I said everything's fine. We're tripping balls in a the theme park looking for our son. Oh, am I going to be sick? Oh, I slit in my wrists. And then face plant the floor like a boss. Right. Again. What a strange trip it's been. Achievement unlocked. Yes, yeah, so I'm still going down the road of we're fucking insane. You I mean you gotta be if you find pills and go, oh these are mine! Oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. What secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, <laughs> the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Inside? What, the, the witch's head? So we have done a full circle now. We're back at the entrance. We never went in here. I'm guessing in order for the story to progress, we have to ride every ride. I mean, that would make sense right now. Although I'm still annoyed. We have a flashlight, but we can't use it. Okay, let's give this a go. Going into the abyss. Anything in here? Oh, we actually are moving. F oh, <laughs> that's an interesting loading screen. Oh, maybe we have a torch now. Maybe we couldn't go in here before because it would say like it's too dark. I think, oh, okay, we unintentionally did the right thing. I love it when that happens. And this is still pretty terrifying. House of Horrors achievement unlocked. Hey, that'd be a pretty cool haunted house if it actually was a pitch black place. And they just give you a flashlight at the entrance. Oh, there's Ch Chad the Chipmunk. 
Um, that's quite some hardcore piping going on there. Um, wow, there's actually a picture of a guy. I always liked the other haunted house rides as a child. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines are silent and dejected but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and I have retreated here to the house of horrors. I must think. Okay, the guy, that's the logical thing to do. Um, park's closing. Let's hang out in the haunted house and have a good old think about things. Okay. Can I... Are we riding anything? Okay, there's... Whoa, something just moved. Don't make me look at it. Um, oh, that's a creepy mirror. That's a mirror. Uh, okay, okay. That seems really out of place. A kind of gas mask wielding, Nazi dual wielding weapon flamethrower guy. I'm a horrible mother. Yes, you are. You're terrible. Me? I saw that earlier in the ticket booth. Oh look, that's us. It's been a while. Uh, uh, get down on it. Um. Oh, that's okay for. Uh, uh, yes, a haunted cardboard cutout. That's the new sex, apparently. Hey, beastie ghoul. Are you going to disappear too on me? Nope, you're just going to stand. The music went a bit creepy and I don't know why. Can I change? Okay, I'll put the DPI up on my mouse. It should run a bit better. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have been flicking around. I missed something good. <laughs> Anything around there? Look out! These cardboard cutouts are really bizarre. Anything behind it? Nope. How about you, Mr. Nope? Okay, we're kind of going over the entrance. I like jump scares. Oh, that's a shadow of the uh, witch man. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of jump scares. But I get really annoyed when they don't set them up properly and then you miss them entirely. Like you catch like an echo of... I hear scratches. Who is scratching their way around this? Um. Oh. Did I miss something? I don't think he was looking at us okay then the, the wall opened okay I, I think um, I think we came that way I think I don't oh is that a maze oh jeez jeez let's just go this way for a second why is I hear electrics 
Well, this is a great room. What's the reason for it? Why does that have to be a reason? I don't know why. Um, I hear a monster girl. Give it to me. I think we should go down the middle a bit, but I want to just walk back this way for one second. Oh. Hey, monstery man. Anything in the mirror? Nope. Oh. I was looking right at it and it still kind of made me jump a little bit. Something went boo, and I said, show yourself. Way to go, girl. Um, okay, this haunted house is the best bit of the whole game so far. They need more of this, and maybe less cardboard cutouts and real ghosts. Oh, shadows. You're weird. Reminds me of Max Payne a little bit. Uh, the fall of Max Payne, number two, where you... Yeah, Mona. Oh, no, no, you go to a dimension unknown. Or oh, hey, creaky doors. You go to that theme park. Oh, wow, that's not menacing in any way. Bleep. Come on, then, let's get on with it. I'm gonna kill you no matter what you say. Yes. Pay your bills. Um. Oh, showers of sparks. I love showers of sparks. They make me feel so warm and electric. Um. I guess we're gonna follow the witch. Oh, going deep down. Me. Um, I don't ever want to go down here. It's kind of creepy. Oh, we can open the doors. Okay, that door's locked. No window. That door's locked. This one opens. Anybody in? Oh, my torch. I think it's broken. And now... Yeah, there's no going back. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. This is getting so deep, so I think... I definitely think we're insane. And this haunted house is now just basically turned into my own haunt... Oh, twisted... Dementia, not dementia. Uh, oh, nightmare! I love you from Callum. The the downfall of my own family. Oh, I'm sniffing. Sorry for the sniffing. Books. We're getting quite a lot to explore now. We didn't before. Oh. And I have to say, the level is running a lot smoother. I feel. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum, electricity bill, faucet. While she was talking, uh, our power was cut off. So clearly, um, you know, our life? A wrench. Okay. Should I not fix this leak? That might run up another water bill. What's this? What's this? 
Is that a train track and is that an alligator and a lion? That's locked. Anything in the fridge? Oh, is that chicken? Chicken wings? Since they're doing this whole Hansel and Gretel thing, uh, uh, a Gretel thing, I was expecting some sort of like feet or something like that. Yeah, this, this is my own sick, twisted mind. I'm not a healthy person. I'm a horrible mother. Yes, you are. Where is he? Miss Mallard, we are... As we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. Yep, she's <laughs> mental. This letter is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. She was insane. Please note that you should discontinue any medication that you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time you are suffering a relapse, then please make contact with your local physician, uh, psychish, psychish, whatever, immediately. We, we wish you continued good health. Yes, I called it. I was insane. I think I still am insane. Lorena. <laughs> Back to the future. Um, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised you ran off with your father all those years ago, and then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help. I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't ran away with him. It broke my heart, but I needed to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm so sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please, don't contact me again, Karen. So I went crazy. I bet it's going to show a channel. Nope, nope, fine. Uh, I ran away with my father. My mother disowned me, but not through choice. Jeez. Okay, so we have a, a lawyer's papers here. Miss Mallard, our inquiries into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary benefactor of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as, you regard, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the monies from Donald's estate. They have asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative effect on your current financial situation and I hope that I am not being too forward when I enclose the bill of our services with this letter. I can see why I went insane. I had a lovely husband. Oh, Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes from uh, stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There were several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under very close observation, we provided standard treatment for her, this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a, very, a, a rapid recovery. Any door that says exit in a game like this is never an exit. It's just a continuation. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to pause it here. Wow. Okay. Um, the game just got a lot more interesting. Let's recap our situation. We, Lorraine, we had a lovely husband called Don and a child, Gever. Three months into the pregnancy, uh, he died constructing the Ferris wheel. And then six months later, we give birth. Ta-da! Oh, during the pregnancy, we was already starting to get a bit do lale and the death made things worse. And then we had no money whatsoever 
from the settlement because we were not registered with his insurance or uh, will or anything like that. And it seems to me that we lost custody of Callum or he died because we're, we're, we're really a bad person. Listen. Stop! Yep, stop. <laughs> we're just batshit crazy. That's what we are. And there's no going back. Anyway, I'll shut up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody. My name is Balloon Boy. I'll sell balloons. Oh, I don't take money. I'll take your soul.